What's going on, Fishaholics? Welcome to one of Johnson & Wales computer labs up here in Providence. And sadly, yes, I'm not in Florida anymore. And I'm actually sitting down at the computer lab. I'm the only one in here. It's like crickets. Everyone must be in, cl be in class. I'm actually waiting for my class. And I'm trying to edit my last Florida video or videos. And I kind of ran into a little bit of a dilemma because I just found the footage to be entirely or completely boring. You know, I caught two significant fish in two days as soon as I started fishing. And then for the rest of the day, I just caught a bunch of smaller fish, you know, nothing really significant, something I could catch up up north here, but I just caught so many of them, it was almost repetitive. And that's why I thought the footage would just be boring. I'm gonna show you a couple clips of uh, my last few, um, you know, fish that I caught in Florida. I hope you guys enjoy. Really shallow towards this, you know, in this little finger here. Might be, you know, a couple small bass just to break the ice. That's what's important. There he is, fish on. That's, that was literally on my second cast right there, guys. Second cast, it's a, it's a, it's a big one. It's a big one. Big one. Oh my gosh, no way. Second cast, Victor, second cast. I told you that's why we needed a scale, Victor. We needed a scale. What did I say? This might be my PB right here. It might be. Oh my gosh, it's a giant, it's a giant, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at the size of this fish, oh my gosh, look at that tank right there, oh, oh my gosh, Jesus, that's a big Florida monster right there, big, this is what you got to come to Florida to catch right here, it's belly man, look at that fish, all right, let's get him back, Fucking oh my gosh. <laughs> Starting out with the old reliable here, the watermelon baby brush hog. This is the exact setup right here that I caught my giant two days ago on out of this lake. Most of the bass are in pre-spawn mode or spawning mode. I'm hoping I can get that fat pre-spawned female because that's gonna be the heaviest fish and the one that's gonna make that scale dial go all the way up. The only thing that's different today than from the other days that I fished is today is overcast, cloudy. You, know, you could probably hear it and you can also see the trees. It's really, really windy out here. Oh, just got just got railed right there. Second cast. Oh, just got another hit. Oh, geez. This lake is loaded with fish, so for some of you guys, it might not be that impressive if I can catch another giant out of this lake. I mean, it is Florida, and it is a lake probably that doesn't receive too much fishing pressure. But I just want to be able to say that, oh yeah, I caught a bass that is this size. I, I hate having to estimate, you know, I've caught bass that I've weighed on a scale up to six pounds. So I know when I catch a fish that's over six pounds, but you know, obviously it seems like I've never remember my scale or, you know, my scale always ends up breaking whenever I catch a fish that's over six pounds, you know, so I'm gonna break that curse, that's my goal. I'm using 20 pound test Power Pro braid with a 15 pound test floral leader. So definitely some fairly heavy gear to try and pull any big bass up over these reeds, but I also got my water shoes on 
and I'm standing in the water. So if, if I catch a big bass and can't get them over these reeds, I'm going in. Hopefully I don't get eaten by an alligator. Oh geez, this is a big fish right here. Oh geez, another giant, a giant fish. No way guys, stay on there baby, stay on there. I'm going in, I'm going in right here. Oh my gosh, stay on there. Yes! Yes! Oh! All right, so with the fish gripper, the scale is zeroed. I hope you guys can see that. I'm gonna put this baby on there. Let's see what the scale reads. This guy keeps moving. Easy there, baby, easy. Okay, so four pounds, seven ounces. Not as big as I thought. Definitely a decent sized fish. I've caught four pounders before. I'm hoping to get even a bigger girl. That was really awesome. Five minutes of fishing and I catch a four pounder. Definitely, you know, a big bass, but not a giant bass. Hopefully I can, you know, retaliate and find another big fish. Seems like these fish really love this six inch little baby brush hog. And last year, I was actually fishing the same bait on a 2 Ogami offset worm hook. This year I upgraded to a 4 -0 after last year's fish, or big bass, snapped the hook right, right in the middle. Monster bass right there. golden spot right here. Nice little corner. Big pre-spawn females are going to be pushing up into here. I really don't even know when the spawning period is down here in Florida. I know it's in February. I don't know when it starts. You know, I can assume maybe the end of January, early February. And, uh, you know, then probably post-spawn is probably, you know, beginning of March or, you know, for the most part of March. Oh, I'm getting rocked. I'm getting a lot of hard hits, but I have a feeling they're small fish. Big fish is just gonna eat this entire thing and just hold on. Oh! Had one hit it right at the edge of the grass. As soon as I was about to pull this brush hog out of the water. Oh! That's a nice chunk. Chunk of dunk. Boom. bass are suicidal. Another chunky one. A little one. Might be a small female. I don't know. 